We have a 26-year-old patient with masseteric hypertrophy, being larger on the right compared to the left-hand side, secondary to grinding. The masseteric hypertrophy contributes to the overall squareness to the lower third of the face, and today we'll be injecting the masseters with botulinum toxin. Marking the left masseter, again, can I ask you to clench, anterior border of the masseter, along the mandible, the ramus, and again, a line from oral commissure to tragus, and the injection points will be in the lower half of a line that divides these. Can I please ask you to clench? Relax, clench, relax, clench, relax, clench. Great. Now we can see that the right masseter is larger compared to the left masseter. I'll be injecting the right side with 40 units of onobotulinum toxin and on the left hand side 35 units of onobotulinum toxin and my approach will be from posterior single entry dividing the doses 35 units divided by three in each of the bellies and then 40 units divided by three in each of the bellies on the right hand side. The only muscle that I'm concerned about is the rhizorius because if I inadvertently uh, strike the rhizorius I will shorten the patient's smile and injecting each of the three bellies of masseters avoids the inadvertent paradoxical doubling up of masseters if I don't equally distribute the botulinum toxin in each of the three bellies. Let's have a look at, at the masseters on ultrasound. Let's have a look at the left masseter. I have the probe in the transverse position, but let me have a look at Rhizorius. And here is the masseter, and coming off the rhizor off the masseter, aiming in a more anterior position, lying around about 0.6 millimeters deep to the skin is a thin layer of muscle and that is rhizorius. On ultrasound we can identify the intermediate head of masseter, the superficial head and the deep head. And I want to do one injection point so that I can target all three muscles. So a little sting coming your way. Ready one, ready two, And I'm now locating my needle on ultrasound. I can see the movement. And there I have it. And this is the intermediate head. So I'll inject a third the dose into the intermediate head. I'm now going to move my needle and reposition it so that I can target the superficial head of masseter and another one-third of the dose and then I'm moving my needle again to target the deep head of masseter And there it is. And here is my third dose of onobotulinum toxin. I'd like to visualize where the onobotulinum toxin is. This is immediately post injection, and we can see volume within the intermediate head, the superficial head, and the deep head of masseter.